Sure. So uh, the Internet Computer Network is uh, kind of blockchain, but it produces a serverless autonomous cloud. And it's a place where you can use something called canister smart contracts to build, e build something, even like a social network that, that runs online. And these um, things that you build can be autonomous uh, because you can place the canister smart contracts under the control of something called a service nervous system DAO, um, which means that there's no backdoors. So Internet Computer does a lot of things that will be useful to um, DeFi systems and other systems in the Ethereum space. And the integration between the Internet Computer Network and the Ethereum Network relies on something called chain key cryptography. There's no bridges involved or anything like that. It's all trustless cryptography. And it's going to be possible for countless of smart contracts on the Internet Computer, which have the advantage that they can uh, stretch to, you know, the 64 gigabytes of data from a single contract and can interact with HTTP to create user experiences. You need to be able to call into Ethereum smart contracts and vice versa. And this will happen without a third element, a bridge in the middle. And we all know the bridges are insecure. So once this happens, um, the theorem smart contracts will be able to leverage the capabilities of the internet computer, uh, which is by design, you know, uh, the, the, the word Definity started being used in 2015, and we sort of forked out of the early Ethereum community, pursuing this vision of a world computer that uh, would run a scale that could one day support well, the majority of humanity's systems and services. And now, with this integration between the internet computer and Ethereum, it'd be possible, for example, for the Ethereum smart contract to have its user experience running on the internet computer in a fully decentralized form under the control of a service nervous system down so that it's autonomous and the only updates can be made via this DAP um, and get rid of Amazon Web Services because today most user experiences for systems that maintain tokens and DeFi functionality on Ethereum are really running on Amazon Web Services and it's this centralized tech that all the hackers and the sensors and the vested interests and the regulators um, head, head towards. And of course, you know, if you build something like a metaverse and you're building uh, most, of, most of your computation on most of the computer and Amazon web services, you know, that's where the logic is, that's where the data is. You have to trust the developers, right? Because they got the username and password to the Amazon web services account and they can log in and they can arbitrarily change data and logic. So uh, we want, you know, Ethereum developers to push to the final frontier of decentralization, um, get rid of their centralized traditional technology, um, remove that from the mix, replace it with internet computer canister swell contracts running under the control of service nervous system DAOs. And then once that happens, the, the user experience can be created by smart contracts on the internet computer. And that thing uh, can't be hacked. It's updated by DAO, so all the changes are transparent. And you can also make the user experience better. For example, you can get rid of MetaMask. You can enable people to log in. I mean, did a demo last year where the whole integration was available. You can create a front end for, for Uniswap on the internet computer. And now you can authenticate using your fingerprint sensor on your laptop or your face ID on your phone, creating a better user experience. Um, there's all kinds of other stuff that people are able to do. So. Not quite yet, but soon the internet computer is going to support uh, AI compute units, which is web free native AI matters that run on the network. And it'll be possible to interact with those from Ethereum. So, for example, you could have an automated trading bot that talks to, um, you know, a neural network running on an AI compute unit and asks for instructions and then does the trading on Ethereum. And all of that can just be done with a smart contract. You don't have to introduce any kind of centralized tech in, into the equation. And certainly they're going to be planning on using the Ethereum integration to improve it with the ERC-20s into that. Um, you could use AI computers to create avatars and content for Metaverse. 
Um, something that's coming is AI small contracts, which is a higher step beyond on the internet computer. You can use that kind of thing for a medical large language model where you have to know what the AI is trained on, you know, the medical papers, the textbooks, the room, personal learning for medical students. And, and when you submit a prompt, that's a transaction. And when you get the response, there's a signature that says, this prompt was given to the AI that did an inference and produced this response, and the system's running correct. So there's a lot of um, stuff like that that uh, we think the Ethereum community are going to really run. Um, they're going to be able to store unlimited amounts of data. They're going to be able to create user experiences. They're going to be able to run AI and interact with AI, whether it's to generally content or ask for trading advice. Um, and all of these things are going to be possible without any kind of bridges or weirdness. You're just going to be able to do it from an Ethereum smart contract. So we're very excited. And, you know, something that we've been driving towards for a long time with Jenkins cryptography, this thing where the internet computer can create Ethereum addresses and sign for Ethereum transactions without having a public key, private key pair. That's the, the innovation with chain key. If you have a public key, but there's no private key, the blockchain is the private key. Um, and it's really going to unlock this broader vision of a kind of world computer. And I, I think that given the world computer came from Ethereum, the world computer vision really originated in the world, in the Ethereum space, 2014, May 2014, early 2015. You know, something that I really believed in and wanted to take further and enable, enable the world computer to against the political the world systems and services. And now we're finally, finally getting there. I think it's going to be very popular within the Ethereum community.